Welcome back to the NYA show in 2024. Appreciate the support throughout the years. This is like year four or something like that. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody who always support this. This is what they say, support the machine, support this show here. Keep us up and moving, keep us going. For my new year, of course, I did what everybody did. <laughs> I brought it in safe. I'm here to do another show for you. You know what I'm saying? I was at the spot. Any plans, anything that I've done in the, the days of yesteryear that were not done this year. You know what I'm saying? I was at the house. I was chilling. I had a great holiday. I did have plans to like do like these year in uh, wrap ups and stuff like that for, uh, for uh, everything that I did for last year. But it's all good. As long as you keep them pushing out new product. Like I said, I just went through and, and added, uh, put a lot of my shows into uh, storage on my like on hard drive. Show after show after show after show. So I'm just keeping the keeping the wheels turning. You know, keeping the wheels turning. And here we are in 2024 as we hop into the first stories. And I will say that 2024 is, of course, a blessing year. But thanks to some of these stories I'm about to read, like T, I would say, what he said to Candace Owens, but you're starting with some bullshit. So we're going to go straight into it. Now, how a mother is balancing life in the pursuit of dreams. An interview with actress Brianna M. Thomas by AJ Tamby. That's on Spotify. Link will be below as always. And well, it's literally, it's no pressure interview with uh peace as peace underscore peace the the ease are threes on your social media websites and of course the youtube link will be below so go ahead and check those things out nothing changed about that 2024 let's keep pushing and promoting that now i want to go into the first story tonight see if i get our sound queued up about uh i think this is a story out of us uh, is it sacri- is this us okay this is out of greenville north carolina came out on second it was updated a couple hours ago 14-year-old M-word uh, happened after the social media dispute with another team. Now I'm going to get this video playing. Get my sound connected. Let's make sure there's no ad before I start. There's even no point of putting that sound together if it's an ad. So let's give it a second here. Let's give it a second here. It's so early for me, but I'm in here. I'm rocking. I'm rocking. See if I can get my work good evening and thanks for joining All us. Right, good evening. Monday. Thanks for joining okay. us. All right, here we go. Let's get some sound. Let's see. Go straight into it. Jordan, new details tonight in a deadly shooting that killed a 14-year-old over the weekend where another 14-year-old is now charged. This all comes just two weeks after other teen violence in the East where a South Central High School student was stabbed outside the school. In that case, a 15-year-old is charged in for assault. Greenville police held a news conference today about the deadly shooting. Amarachi Uche is live now with what they're saying. Amarachi. Yeah, Dave Courtney, just hours ago, we learned that 14 year old Zakir Langley and the suspect got into a fight on social media prior to the shooting. Now, at the press conference held today, Greenville Police Chief Ted Saul says that he's hoping to prevent something like this from happening again. We have two families that are suffering from that loss because on every situation like this, there's multiple sides and multiple facets. Greenville Police Chief Ted Saul says they're still sorting through exactly what happened. But no, the 14-year-old suspect and 14-year-old Zakir Langley had gone into a dispute on social media before the shooting. Video submitted to WITN shows multiple police officers near Langley's body as an EMS unit pulled up to the intersection of Pitt Street and Brown Street where the shooting occurred Saturday night. Police were able to find Langley with the help of the city's public safety camera as it captured him collapsing in the street. But Saul says they also need the community's help. Yes, it's great if ShotSpotter gives us detection, we get there fast, we're able to, to do our best to, to render those life-saving measures. But often, oftentimes we're finding in those types of incidents that we may not even be called by the public. Mm -hmm. I need that phone call still. No technology is going to replace that human element of what we need to Back. be successful as your police department. Langley was taken to ECU Health where he died on Sunday. Saul says Sunday around 1 p.m., the teenage suspect turned himself in at the police station and was cooperative. Now they're trying to determine how the teen got the gun and how to prevent something like this from happening again. One of the, the biggest issues we're having as a nation, one of the biggest issues we're having as a city is the proliferation of gun violence. And our numbers are staggering in terms of the number of guns that we recover each year. So he's calling on the youth for help. So it goes back to the see something, say something moniker. If you see something's not right, Right, please let us get involved early. We'll always do our best to serve. Langley was a student at CMEPS Middle School in Greenville, but police do not know if the suspect was a student there as well.
And Saul says that he spoke to the Langley's family early this morning and attempted to speak to the Sussex family as well, but was unsuccessful in reaching them. Live in Greenville, Amarachi Uche, WITN News. All right, thanks, Amarachi. Damn. Damn, rest in peace, rest in peace. Something came, something just came off of social media and brought it right into, into real life. 14 years old, I am I, I do have an idea how they how the young man got a gun because in another situation I'm gonna talk about is you can get it from people around you, the parents in the house they got around. And honestly, y'all, I don't even gonna lie to y'all, let's keep it a book. Even in this day and age, if I wanted to get my hands on a gun that wasn't a, red, a dirty gun or a gun that you could just use and it's not gonna be traceable. It is not that hard to do. It should be something that's hard to do. It should be one of the most difficult things to do, but it is not a hard thing to do. So disputes over social media just costed two 14-year-olds their lives. You know what I'm saying? Two 14-year-olds. But, you know, the particular thing is that the, the, the shooter uh, um, will likely see another day out here on the, on the streets, you know, after a certain amount of years, after this all goes, however it goes, we'll see another chance. And like I said, Young know, man, whoever they had to dispute with, not on this side, will ever get another a, a chance here at the same person here in physical. You know what I'm saying? That that part will never be able to be given back over this whole situation. And that just another anchor for us to watch what we're talking about when it comes on, you know, with, with social media. You really can't really talk about none. This argument don't have to be a, to us, whatever this. If we were truly know what that argument would be was about, we'd probably say it was about nothing. You get what I'm saying? So that just think about that when most people, you know, if 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 you're ever in the camera, if you're ever in the spotlight when something like this happens, then they say, Well, what was it about? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, no, what was this situation about? And it may most likely won't really be uh, anything, be about anything. So I, I will say everybody keep a special eye on your teenagers, listen to them, talk to them, let them know that it's not that deep. That needs to be the word of 2024. It's not that deep. Is it if it's gonna cost you your life, not that deep, any body harm, not that deep, cost you your home, your your play your car and your, your shoes, your gear. It's not that deep. You know what I'm saying? It take the L, get off social media, you know, let it slide, you know, to get rid of it. Because in all actuality, there's no real oh, we could have got in there and saved them and, and, and did something. We would have just seen them going back and forth. But it's social media, any everybody going back and forth in the comments. You can reply to a comment with damn near a video now. You can put, I mean, you can do everything with comments now. And it's going to keep coming back personally to you. So it's not going to be one of those things where people monitoring, like, mm, they sure get into it, calling up for all type of bitch shit hoes, and they talking big shit. All of that is not going to, you know, nobody's going to pay attention now to even think that that could turn into something violent on the other side. Nobody's going to think about that. Everybody just coming, robotics, everybody just talking, talking, talking. So, y'all, let me know what y'all thoughts on this story. 14 year old lost their life because they got into it online and then they said, come on, pull up then. As well, I'm going to say, pull up, push up. Now everybody say, push up then. And sure enough, somebody pushed up, and now somebody is pushing up daisies because of a little situation like this. Back and forth over social media is not that deep, y'all. I said 2024 wrote word of the year, baby. It's not that deep. Let me know what y'all thoughts on the story. Rest in peace to the 14-year-old that lost their life. Dang, that's not the way to go. Terrible way to start the year off. And please let me know your thoughts on the story. We continue to move through this new year. I appreciate y'all as always. And YA Show.